Hello guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. So let's get into the topic. Today we are going to discuss another interview question. So here, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to provide the question. So you can go ahead and you can solve this particular question. So let's get into the question. So the question is, which is asked in the LTA my entry. So they have given one use case. Okay. They have given even they have provided the Excel sheet as well. So let's take the Excel sheet and let's get into that particular here. So when it comes to this particular uh, thing, right? So what they are asking, so they are providing the three tables. Okay. Three tables. And if you observe these three tables, okay, how much anal analytical skills we you have? Okay. What is you, uh, they wanted to understand your analytical skills. Okay. So to do that, right. What they have given, they have given ID. Okay. I serial number here and serial number here. So this is the input tables. Okay. This, are, this is the input table. Let me make it in yellow color. Okay. Yellow color and header should be in green color. So think of it. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And here you see all the things. Okay. Here you can see all the first name, last name, month, and as well as how many products they have sold by employees by employees now they wanted to understand okay they wanted to understand here so here you can see right this particular this scenario this particular scenario you have employee details how many how much products uh, what is the quantity of products which they have sold okay so nothing but a sold products now what they have given they have given even answer as well okay if you observe right if you observe okay they have given serial number they have given serial number okay they have given serial number see this is id this is serial number now you have to you have to populate the data like this okay by writing the sql query by writing the sql query here you see right one two two and after that four okay if you observe one thing, if you observe one thing, so if you see this particular table, right, after taking this, okay, after seeing this table, so one is ID number as well as sold products. Here, if you see, right, first is serial number, you have to observe, this is not an ID number, remember that, this is the serial number, and as well as here, you need to understand one more thing, okay, so here one two two four five six four five double six eight okay here if you see right one two two three four five four five five six okay and as well as if you um, understand these two tables very see by seeing these tables if you are good with the sql then you, you can easily understand one is populating with dense rank another is populating with rank okay which one is populating with rank this one is populating this particular table is populating with rank okay they wanted to understand your sql skills as well as your analytical skills your analytical skills so by seeing this data by seeing this data you may confuse you may confuse by thinking of it okay here id is there here also serial number is there here also See, simply what they are populating, this rank number, they are populating as a serial number. This rank number, they are populating serial number. Such cases, what you have to do, you have to go ahead and you have to ask them. Okay, you have to ask them. By asking the questions, then they are going to give you the details. Okay, so the, is this an ID or is it a serial number which we have to populate it? So they clearly mention that populate the data. Okay. In question itself, they will ask you populate the data by serial number like this. So by seeing this, okay, whenever we go with the rank and dense rank, right, both are going to create a rank. Okay, but what is the major difference? Rank, it is going to create the based on the order. What basis they have ordered? So by products, sold products, they have ordered the data. On what basis? Ascending or descending? See here, you can take first maximum sales is 2,900. So 2,900, take it up here. Here 2,900. Okay, then after that, what is there? 2,700. Here also 2,700, 2,700. Then here also 2,700. Next is what? 2,400. 
you can see here 2400 you can see 2400 next is 2300 okay here also 2300 so you have to understand the data you have to understand the data if you understand the data it would be easy for you same thing here also here also now i would ask you to comment comment the answer in the video section video comments okay you can go ahead and you can do that but i have given already with the rank and dense rank you can populate it but on what basis on what basis over order by sold products over order by sold products sold products See, simply what you can do you can go ahead and you can do the order by products desc see let me write it up i don't want to give you okay simply what you can do here simply what you can do select star from okay select okay see here's what you have to do you have to populate first name okay first name as well as last name okay then month okay then month then rank then sold product sold products sold products comma rank 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 over order by order by order by what order by first let me write it up inside query then we'll go with the outside query okay see order by okay let me maximize it then you guys will understand see here order by order by what the order go with the cell orders go with the order by sold products sold products in which order by default it goes with the ascending order ascending orders now what we have to do desc desc as 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 s number s number from what from where from sales table sales table now you have to keep it this until here what you are going to get you are going to get you are going to get nothing but a sales so on top of it, you can create a one table, nothing but an inline view you can create. And then you can take all this. You can take all this. Okay. Then you can go ahead and you can create one more select statement. Select select here as or if you don't want to do that. Okay. Already we have given. So simply what you can do, you can go ahead and you can do that select star from a this is the thing which you can get it in a easy way in a easy way so this is what you have to understand if you learn through concepts properly then you can easily answer this question easily answer this question same thing if i can just do it here okay by using same thing just i have to use dense rank dense rank okay dense rank that's it okay the everything will go in our way so you have by seeing the data you have to come up with which concept they have used which concepts which concept they have used if you understand this way if you understand this way it will be easy it will be easy it will be easy for you to answer the sql questions that's it guys for today and one more case is there okay one more case is there just you go you can simulate this case in your tables okay one is customer id customer id customer name contact name address city postal code and country see first row is id is one two three ravindra ram ragu okay here ravindra sam is there contact is sam ram is have doesn't have any contact ragu is having antonio Marino. so the question is display the all the records in customer table if contact name contact name is not available display the customer name in the contact for example here ravindra is there sam is there no issues but if here ram is not there just you have to populate as ram in the contact so how can you do that how can you do that in sql 
just you can go ahead and answer this question in in the comment chat this is the one of the exercise i'm going to give you thank you guys